am an explorer. More specifically, a technology explorer. I started exploring technology at the age of five, an example being how I fixed my classroom computer when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> I wanted to use my classroom computer, but the teacher said no because one was occupied and the other one was broken since it wouldn't turn on. Two teachers already tried fixing it, but to no avail. I asked if I could try, and the teacher said yes. So a few seconds later, I came back with joy because I fixed it. It was a simple problem. The power cable was only loosely plugged in. <laughs> at eight years old, I was good at programming, but not that great at my times tables. So I created a Windows application to help me practice my times tables, which helped me raise my test scores. I then realized that this app could help others to learn as well. So I converted it to an iOS app. And when I was nine years old, my very first iOS app, T-Tables, was accepted into the Apple App Store. <laughs> My next step was to then author a book on iOS development so others can learn programming and make their own apps as well. I then began to share my explorations with the world by speaking at conferences. And now, at 13 years old, I am a keynote speaker, an author, an algorithmist, and a YouTuber at Tanmay Teaches. Since my goal is to help at least 100,000 aspiring beginners on their first steps to becoming programmers. <laughs> Along this journey, I stumbled upon a documentary about IBM Watson, a supercomputer that was not only able to play, but also win Jeopardy against the two best human competitors. Because of Watson, I started working with machine learning and artificial intelligence, or AI for short. In fact, my passion for and belief in AI brought me to work on a project that is very close to my heart. Please take a moment and think about the word connected. It's a simple word that means a whole lot. Right now, you are connected to the entire world via your social media, your phone, and your text messages here at TEDx. And even though your phones are muted, every other feature is functional. But now I want you to imagine, if you can, sitting alone in a room, and people walk in, they're talking, you look at them, and you can't move or speak. But you desperately want to say hello and join the conversation, but you can't. You're disconnected. I want to introduce you to Boo. Since the age of seven, she has Rett syndrome, a debilitating neurological disorder, meaning that not being able to communicate or join any conversation has been her reality for the past 22 years. Imagine a world like this and how lonely it would be. Because of my explorations, I was invited to join a team. And my part is to implement machine learning algorithms to help augment human life, such as booze. This intelligent machine will give her the ability to do something that you and I take for granted. And that is the ability to communicate and to connect. This smart technology will not only help Boo, but many others with similar disabilities to reconnect to the world. And unlike Stephen Hawking, the famous scientist who can type on his computer with cheek and eye movements, the system we are creating will be connected directly to Boo's brainwaves to augment her abilities as she's unable to use even body movement to communicate. How this technology works is it gathers brain waves through a special headset which are interpreted by deep neural networks that I train. Initially, the system will understand intents like yes, no, not sure, and maybe. 
And so hopefully in the near future, it will help people like Boo, whose existence and even treatment could be made simpler with the abilities of artificially intelligent technology. We should not be afraid of AI. It won't replace or overpower us. It will empower us. This is Boo's mom. She is her intimate interpreter. She won't be replaced by any cognitive or AI system. Rather, it will enhance her ability to understand her daughter and assist Boo to communicate and connect to the outside world. I strongly believe that in the next 15 to 20 years, those with severe disabilities will be able to communicate and connect with the outside world and carry out entire conversations and through the power of AI, connect to the outside world. I cannot wait to have a conversation with Boo. I am really excited about these technologies because the possibilities are endless. Thank you very much.